So we're back in the podcast, and Miles Simmons, um, I'm going to let you start off with this. I I sort of had a problem with Kansas City winning games unimpressively and not dominating and people thinking that kind of the sky was falling on their offense, at, which wasn't what it was the last couple of years, but... I just view it, you know, you know, in Pat, we trust because I just think he'll figure it out. He will look if, if Sky Moore is not going to get it done. Okay. We're going to Rishi Rice. I think they'll figure it out. But how do you see the sort of the, how the chiefs have gone through this year and where they are right now? I don't think that it's the sky is falling and I don't really think Patrick (laughs) Mahomes needs to figure it out either. I think that these receivers need to figure it out and the coaching staff and Andy Reid, Matt Nagy, those guys need to figure out what guys can actually be relied upon in the crunch time situations. Obvious, obviously it's not Marquez Valdez Scantling, right? I mean, that's just something we know. And Jarek McKinnon dealing with a groin injury certainly doesn't help that offense either. But I think by now we know Isaiah Pacheco, if you need a yard, he's going to get you that yard by and large most of the time because he runs like he's angry at the ground. Travis Kelsey, (laughs) he does when they need to be made. Right. Yeah. And so I think that Rice in the game that he had Sunday against Las Vegas, maybe that's something that really can propel him into that good role for the rest of the season and into January. They, They need that guy that can actually be reliable. You know, that can be where he needs to be. That can catch the ball when he's supposed to catch the ball. You know, Watson is also one of those guys that uh, that Patrick Mahomes seems to have a good amount of trust in. And a lot of times he has made the plays, but also he's made drops too. So that's where I'm thinking, especially in that Eagles game where we saw the passes were accurate. The passes got there. It's just, they weren't catching it. So can those guys really continue to catch the ball as rice did on Sunday. And yeah, he had a drop too, but he made enough plays that he got over a hundred yards receiving. That's the kind of stuff I think they need. Yeah. I think one of the things about Kansas city over the time, basically that Mahomes has been running the show with Andy Reid, is I just have this, I don't even want to call it blind faith. That sounds silly, but I think they have this great ability to figure out where they stink. Mm -hmm. And then three weeks later to not stink anymore. Yeah. And you know, and I'll give you, here's my example. Here's my example. So I cover their game in uh, Frankfurt. They play Miami. They scored two offensive touchdowns. So they scored 14 points on offense. This is a week after losing and scoring nine points on offense against Denver. So now they've scored 23 points in eight quarters. I mean, Kansas City has scored 21 points and 23 points and a half, probably 15 times with Mahomes and Reed. But my whole thought was I flew home from Germany and I thought of what what can I write about uh about Kansas City going forward that could be remotely insightful and then I just thought over and over again it's common sense he will figure it out and I know somebody inside the Kansas City organization who texted me that week and said man things aren't good and blah 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 and I said hey I, I this is just my gut feeling gut feeling that's all it is but I've covered football for a long time. When you have a quarterback as good and smart as and determined as Patrick Mahomes, who I believe, I'm not saying he will at all. So, you know, for people who are going to say, oh, he's overrating Mahomes, I, I'm not saying he will. But there's only one player in the NFL right now who's got a chance to challenge the legacy of Tom Brady, and that's Patrick Mahomes. I'm not saying he's going to win seven Super Bowls. I'm not saying he's going to win four. I don't know what he's going to do, but I'm saying that there is so much of Tom Brady and Patrick Mahomes, so much. And so I just figure, I don't know who it's going to be. I don't know how it'll be, but he's going to figure it out. And when I saw 
you know, uh, this past weekend when they play Vegas and they go behind 14, nothing. And at the end of the game, Rasheed Rice is over a hundred yards and he's got the groove back with Travis Kelsey just said, you know, Patrick Mahomes figures it out. And that's why I never was remotely worried about Kansas city and and why I was saying to somebody, yeah, this problem scoring late in games, <clears throat> they scored 31 points in the last 37 minutes of this game. So again, look, it's one week. You don't know what's going to happen, but I just figure that I kind of trust them to figure it out. Yeah. I mean, I do too. And it's going to be interesting to see what they do against the Packers this week. And that's a big game. You know, it's, a big game. it's kind of a tough game. It, it, is. it is. Yeah. And we've seen the Packers start to play a lot better over the last couple of weeks. Right. To get those two wins against the Chargers and then the Lions in rapid succession as they did. I mean, I, I think it says a lot about Jordan Love's development and how much more comfortable he's looking. So, you know, it's not Patrick Mahomes versus Jordan Love at the same time. Yes. But this is a really intriguing quarterback matchup to me because those are two guys that are part of offenses that right now are at least appearing to be on the rise based on what they've done over the last week or so. Remaining schedule for Kansas City at Green Bay, Buffalo at home, and then this non-murderer's row of four games to finish the season. Huh. At New England, Vegas at home, Cincinnati at home, at the Chargers. So, in my opinion, Kansas City has home field in its hands, and we'll see if they can finish the job. They might not. Do it. You know, Jacksonville's got a chance. Baltimore's got a chance. All I can say about Baltimore, week 15 and 16, at Jacksonville, at San Francisco. I don't know that they're sweeping those two. But anyway, who knows? It's going to be interesting down the stretch. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.